For PRI 2009, the guys at GRP Connecting Rods have been kind enough to invite us down to their booth to give us a special demonstration today. I'm here with Brian Scollin to find out a little bit about their company first off. What are you all about? Uh, just we, we manufacture aluminum connecting rods for uh, mostly for the drag racing um, market um, and uh, just custom custom built uh, rods for you know each each application. So you've been around for a while now, haven't you? Uh, we're going. On, uh, I believe we're on our 16th 16th year. So yeah, we've we've been around a bit. Why do you think it is that your customers choose GRP connecting rods? Um, the product works. Um, you know what we try to do. We try really hard at customer service. That's that's um, that's something I really um, really stress to, to our to our whole um, facility. You know, is is that uh, we take care of the customer, um, and that's getting them the getting them the uh, the part that they need that's going to last for their application in a pretty short order. And speaking of applications, I mean, how many are there? Oh, uh, endless. It's endless. You know, and we try to we try to make rods for for whatever they whatever the customer happens to need. There's a lot on the market, but what sets GRP apart? Um, I think I think it's our uh, our material selection and uh, our customer service and making sure that we get the right product, the the right rod for the for the for the application. Well, you mentioned you're going to give us a demonstration today. Tell us a bit about what you're planning to show us. What I'd like to demonstrate is is our um, it's just just a the, the method of torquing uh, torquing or installing rods um, and actually checking the bolt stretch uh, to make sure you have the clamp load to hold the tension loads um, together. All right. Well, if anybody knows how to torque a bolt, GRP definitely know how to do it. So let's go and find out exactly how it's done. All right, Brian. So what are we working on here? Um, we're going to demonstrate how to uh, check the stretch, verify the stretch on a, on a uh, as we're torquing the bolts here. Um, so what we're going to do is with the bolts with the bolts loose, uh, we're going to put the gauge on and uh, zero the gauge out. Okay, so then what we're going to do, we're just going to, with the torque wrench set to our recommended torque, uh, in this case it's 75 foot-pounds, we're going to torque this bolt. Um, what we want here is uh, five and a half to six thousandths on this bolt, and I'm just a little shy of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to stick my bar on there, and I'm just going to tweak it just a little bit, and I'll put the gauge back on. Okay, we're dead on. We're dead on six thousandths right now. So, according to the torque wrench, when it was actually tightened down, it wasn't quite tightened we're down right enough. Where it needed to be, right? So we did. We just bumped it up just a little bit. This bolt here, we've got one in our in our fixture here at six thousand stretch. This bolt actually has fifteen thousand five hundred pounds of clamp load. So we've got fifteen five and fifteen five. So we got thirty one thousand pounds holding that uh, rod together. That's what we need to to, to uh, keep this motor together. And if it's not tightened down enough, what's some of the risks that involve? Um, under torquing is actually, in, in, in a lot of cases, worse than over torquing. Um, the under torquing will actually uh, um, cause movement, or you know, when the when the tension load is greater than the clamp load, it'll actually cause movement, and uh, it'll fatigue the threads in the rod, and and possibly pull out. How much pressure are we looking at? At say at full at red line. Um, on a motor like this at 8,000 RPM, I believe the number's uh, right at 22,000 pounds. Um, tension load, so you know we've 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 got a bit more than that. We've got a little bit of a safety margin built in now, and uh, and that's what we need. Well, there you go, and that's exactly how you talk down the bolts on a connecting rod. And if you want any more information or to check out more about GRP, just go to grpconrods.com.